Sporting Journal Radio, presented by Onyx. One thing in your book I hadn't heard of before is pressure bleeding. Yes. Explain what that so is. Pre- pressure bleeding is a is a, an Alaskan trick. So I just learned it fairly recently uh, when I was working as a deckhand in Alaska on a salmon boat. So I actually have a YouTube video of me pressure bleeding uh, that we can link to if you'd like. Uh, and I kind of totally walk through the process. But the short version is when you have a fish, and this is kind of any fish, what we do in the commercial market is we head and gut the fish on the boat. So you remove the head, you gut the fish, you scrape that kidney, that that bla- bloody sort of brown line along the spine. And then we have attached to our hose system a, uh, a, a heavy gauge needle, like a kind of a, a, a marinade injector needle kind of thing. And you set it to run through your water hose, kind of like an old man peeing, right? So like, <laughs> not, you know, cow pissing on a rock, uh, but, but, you know, just kind of like, a, you know, that kind of thing. And what that is enough to do is, is you jam that needle into the main artery of the fish, which is, yeah, there you go, which is right underneath, um, it is right underneath the head. So you'll see it. It's pretty obvious. And, and then you jam that in there. And if you think you've bled your fish, you do that. And oh my God, so much blood comes out that you never knew even though it was there. And the difference in quality for that is profound. So anybody who's ever caught salmon or trout will know that there's a kind of a salmon smell or a salmon stink that you get when you cook this stuff, uh, especially after freezing it. A pressure bled fish does not have that. Hmm. Look at all that blood coming out. And that fish has been bled. Wow. Yeah, it's you wouldn't expect that much more blood to still be in there. Yeah, it's it and what that does is it improves shelf life. It also Im- improves the firmness of the fish and it also um, will keep you from it won't smell. Like it just will not I've I've had year old vacuum sealed salmon that has been pressure bled hmm. that d- has no smell. Hear more at sportingjournalradio.com or wherever you get podcasts. Devil's Lake is legendary, and this summer has been legendary for walleyes. Don't miss out. Call Haybell Heights Campground and Resort today to book one of their modern cabins on East Bay. The cabins are furnished with a full bathroom, kitchen, and all the amenities like high-speed internet and are clean following CDC guidelines. Staying at Haybell Heights gives you full access to a private boat launch, fish cleaning station, and beach area. Learn more at haybellheights.com. That's haybellheights.com. Plan your trip to legendary Devil's Lake today.